Hi, I'm Linda Watson from Cook for Good, where you can learn to save money, eat well, and do good. Today, I'm going to show you how to shape whisk bread. I'm going to start by greasing these two loaf pans. Now, you'll notice that these pans are smooth-sided and they're very slippery. These, something that's really worth getting if you didn't have the good fortune to get it as a gift is a really good non-stick loaf pan. For a really sticky bread like this, it's essential to getting your bread out in good shape. One of the secrets to having really tasty bread is to use a stickier bread dough than you ordinarily would when you're just kneading it. And that's one of the great things about this whisk bread, which we just whisked up and let sit in the refrigerator overnight. So here it is. I didn't have to knead this or anything. I just put it in the refrigerator, let it do its yeasty thing. The yeast doubled because it had enough time to really get something going. And this is two loaves worth of bread. I'm going to dust a little flour over the top to help make the knife go in easier. I'm going to grease my hands because I forgot to do that, but you sure don't want to forget to do that. And now I'm going to take a serrated knife. The important point here is that you are going to cut the dough without stretching it because the yeast has formed the network inside that is going to support your dough and make the bread rise. Now I'm taking my spatula and I'm nudging the yeast dough away from the edge of the bowl and I'm pulling it out of here. And now here's where you shape your loaf. You let it fall between your hands using gravity, letting gravity do your work for you. And it starts off really rough, but what you'll notice is it becomes silky and smooth. You'll have the rough part on the top here, but you're going to put that face down in the pan so you'll never see that. And once you've done this oh, about that many times, go ahead and start forming it into a loaf. Letting gravity again help you out. Shake it out into a loaf. Don't tear it because you have that gluten network which is going to support the air bubbles and let you have a nice loaf of bread. Then lay it into your loaf pan and push in both directions. If you just push in one direction, your dough will follow you wherever you're pushing. So you have to push in opposite directions each time. You're getting it in the corners because even though it will rise, if you don't get it in the corners, then sometimes you'll have an air pocket there and that makes it so it's not such a pretty loaf of bread. So just cover these with a tea towel, let them rise for about two hours, bake them, and you have two delicious loaves of bread. It's easy to cook for your family. Go ahead and learn how, try out the bread, try out the other recipes you can find on cookforgood.com. Subscribe to the weekly newsletter. It's free. Hope that you'll come visit the site. Hope that you'll cook. Have a delicious day.